Hello, second home. What a beautiful morning this is. What a beautiful day to host a championship parade, right? It's gonna be an awesome day. Might be one of the best days ever. And we've had a lot of them on the channel. Let's get it going. That is over. Alright guys, decided to make a move, moving closer to the end of it, gonna walk for a little bit. Now we are making our way towards the end, because I think that's gonna be the smart move. We want to be up front guys, right? We've worked our asses off this entire playoffs on this channel. I gotta get you guys the best angle, and that's my job. So, we're gonna take the walk, we're gonna see what we can find, and yeah, that's the move. Just walk along the lines. Alright, we up in front. Made the move. W move, honestly. It was a W move. Oh, okay, now we wait. No way, that's a Kyrie Irving jersey. And people are crossing the road and they're stomping on it. <laughs> Kyrie stopped on lucky. Nah, that's the ultimate revenge. That's nuts.
got coming next? Looks like we got Tatum next.
bunch of madness going on right now. You know what? We're not ending the video here either. We're just going to enjoy the day. We're going to enjoy the vibes. We're going to celebrate. We actually did it. And on this channel, it's been a blur on this YouTube channel. At a bar. We made it back at the garden. We are home. It's been a long day. And I mean, it's been a long day. Champs. See the logo right there. We are here at the garden. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Love it. Get over here. Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. 20, 24. Yeah, that's great. this place man what a great day what an unbelievable day this was the Celtics are your 2024 NBA champions and we got to witness the majority of this fantastic run been a blur man I'm not gonna lie it's been a blur World champs yeah let's go one last time TD Garden got a new hat and I caught some new merch. Till next year. Till next year, TD Garden. What an unbelievable run, man. I'll talk to you guys when I get home. I'm gonna end the video when I get home. Talk about the channel in general, the run that we had, and then the season as well. You read the hat. We are NBA champions. What an unbelievable day. This is such a fun day. The White. Now an NBA champion. And off the distance is TD Garden. Hell yeah. Maybe on the drive on the way, I'll get a clip of the garden, but this is it. This is the end of the season. I just turn off my music for copyright reasons, obviously. But as I'm heading home, look, we are approaching TD Garden. Love you. Love you. See you next year, TD. See you next year. As you guys can tell, I am home. I wish I could zoom in for you guys, but right now I'm currently watching some highlights from the Celtic season on YouTube. And that's what I'm doing on my free time. And along with that, editing up this video here for you guys. Just wanted to come on here at the end of the video, talk about the season as a whole for the Celtics. And from the channel super proud of all these guys man like they went through so much adversity over the last seven years guys coming in and out of the team we got porzingis last offseason actually fun fact yesterday because today is saturday that this video is getting uploaded was the one year anniversary of the boston celtics trading for chris das porzingis full circle the fact that we were celebrating a parade on the day that we got chris das porzingis in a trade beautiful it was such a beautiful day man like that was one of the better parades like i've seen here in boston again i haven't done many of them i've only done two red sox parades one patriot parade and that was really it I don't really remember the 08 Celtics parade as much because I was still getting into basketball because I was already into baseball, but like that was really it. And the Bruins one, that one was, that one was fire as well. But that one, I was 12. I was 12 years old. This is 2024 and I'm 25 now. So like 
I will be able to remember this parade forever and I will be able to remember the run that I did to lead up to that parade. We did a total of 11 games, I believe, for the Celtics this season. I think I recorded 11 of them. Actually, no, we did opening night, Chicago, Cleveland, Orlando, just going off the top of my head right now, Utah, Clippers, Lakers, Memphis, New York City, Phoenix, Dallas. Yeah, we did 12 games in Milwaukee in March. We did 12 games in the regular season. We did every single postseason game at the Garden except for two of them. We missed game two of the second round, which was a loss, thank God. And we missed game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. That wasn't by choice either. Three games in the NBA Finals. Who could say they did three games in the NBA Finals? At my age, at least, by the way. Not a lot of people can say that. It was an unbelievable run. We got to see the clincher too for Banner 18. It was unbelievable. I couldn't thank you guys enough for the journey that I was on this season. We ended up hitting 2,000 subscribers. We're now at 2.6. Get, we're getting up there now. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. That's really crazy to say. And we are doing a giveaway. I didn't forget about the giveaway. I am going to be giving away my new merch, a free t-shirt, the We Want Boston shirt. You can pick black, white, whichever one you want. I will leave instructions in my community page on YouTube here, along with Twitter and Instagram of how to win that shirt. But if you want the shirt, you definitely have to subscribe to the channel though. Leave a like on this video as well. Go check out the website if you haven't already. The Celtics did it. Chris asked Porzingis when we met him in December. He agreed with me that we were winning a ring this year. Very good, very good. You guys can come up here. Hey, what's going to be different between your last two teams that you're going to win a ring this year? I agree. I believe yeah. so, yes. He wasn't lying. He delivered on his promise. Love KP. KP's the man. JT's unreal. Jalen Brown. I liked him, but I wasn't the biggest JB guy. You get what I mean. Like, you guys know, like, I'm Tatum is my favorite, but like Jalen Brown obviously wasn't like my favorite player. Now he's up there after this season. He took a huge leap this year, solidifying himself as a top 15 player. In the league. In the league, yes. In the league, he's a top 15 player. He's always been in like the top 25, arguably top 20, but now. He has solidified himself as a top 15 player in the league. And that contract was worth it. I think I said when the contract got announced that it might have been a slight overpay. But you had to do it. I did say that. You had to do it. You had to keep him on the team. You couldn't lose him. Now I think that contract was well worth it. If he keeps taking strides like this, he might be a top 10 player in the league in the next coming years. So happy for Al Horford getting a ring. Thank you to the Milwaukee Bucks for Drew Holiday. Derek White, time for him to get paid. Tatum also is getting paid this offseason too. I can book that, guarantee it for a fact. That news should be coming soon, if I had to guess. And that's it. What's next for the channel? I don't really know, to be honest with you, because now it's Red Sox season. Now I don't have anything until pretty much October, when it's opening night for these guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to end it here, because I'm starting to speak some Japanese over here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy, Jesse. And we'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.